Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyana Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'da habita fillah This is probably my last year, my last time at the enjoying the book fairs here in Saudi Arabia and it has been a great journey and a great na'ma min ni'amillah and I just wanted to share one of the joys for all of those who wish to seek knowledge one of the joys uh, in seeking knowledge is the blessings of new books, of course. And these are some new, fresh, hot off the press uh, pieces of gold. And I hope that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala blesses us to benefit from these books and to go forward and leave something good uh, when we're put in the grave. So this is why I'm hoping and my intention is to go back to my country and hopefully open these books up and get to work. Bi'idnillah ta'ala. And from the jewels that I found, it's just, I'm telling you, this, this, this is one volume out of, uh, and this is a piece of gold here. This is, uh, how many volumes was this? This is, I think it's 15 volumes. This one volume alone uh, is just immense. This is a, a very famous book uh, called Targhib or Targhib, and I know of no other explanation of this book. Now, Ahadi, they will know, but this is a book by uh, Imam Ibn Mundari, and uh, this is a sharh. This is an explanation of that in 15 volumes. A lot of times you find this, you might find it in one volume or something. This is 15 volumes, and it's actually an explanation, and subhanAllah, I just opened it up. And that's why I decided to share in the hadith. I often quote um, in Al Awal Al Nas Yukda Alehi Yom Al Qiyamah Rajal Al Stushia, you know, that shows us the importance of ikhlas. It's pages of explanation for that hadith. So we're going to go through that hopefully uh, soon. And just to show you some of the other gold that I got, and yes, I'm like a child in the candy store. So let me go ahead and pull my lollipops out. Uh, these are some of the other things that I purchased. And that's only from the Fadl of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, some of the other new books. Uh, a lot of books, Sheikh Suleiman or Haley's pumping out stuff. Sheikh Obeid Jabri actually is coming out with a lot of stuff. They're transcribing, you know, he's, Sheikh's getting older, so I think his students are trying to put forth a khidmah. A lot of stuff like Akira or uh, um, a whole bunch of explanations of Akira books from, from Sheikh Obeid here. And Sheikh uh, Mohammed Bezmoul, some books, he's pumping them out. Um, beautiful book here that's four volumes about the Khawarij and Tekfir. I can't wait to get into that. Good resource book. Found it. It was inexpensive. Also, an explanation of Riyadh Sadhin, as you can see. This is by Imam bin Baz. So that's a rare jewel. You know, there's just a lot of good little things coming out. Uh, I did very good as far as myself. I usually spend a lot of money. And I didn't do too bad. This is one of the best <laughs> times. You know, these all these on the floor, I have no place to put them. I've got some other ones up there that I purchased that were new. Uh, some there. And these are some fatawa. Now, I've said some statements in the past about uh, Sheikh. Uh, anyway, never mind. One of the Mashaikh. And I did purchase this fatawa because I do believe in uh you know benefiting even if i may not agree in totality with certain mashaykh or their asloob and so on and so forth but i did find because this is a rare jewel he just came out with a one two three four five seven volume uh his all of his books and 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 rasail so i i had to pick that up for sure and plus i sat with him a little bit and uh, so, I, you know, those things are important. It's a part of your own personal history. Something that I got that was debatable whether I needed to buy it. It's actually a fantastic resource, obviously. It's still mostly in the, book, in the box. I just got these box delivered. Um, this is an explanation of Bukhari. And it is 36 volumes. Fantastic. It is like... So many, it's a very long sharh, and it's by a great imam, uh, Ibn Malakin. It's called Tawdi Li Sharh Ajami' As-Sahih. And so, very fantastic. These are all my books 
that I purchased last year from the last book fair, this whole bookshelf in, a corner, in addition to other things. Now, one of the things that is actually fantastic that I mentioned prior to this, which is an absolute must resource for those students who are here in Saudi Arabia, and it's this book here. And I mean, it's worth having two copies. I almost wanted to buy another copy just in case something happens to this one. It's called Mosul Aqid to Idyan al Firq wal Madahib al Ma'asara. Basically, it is a mini, uh, a group of Mashaikh, and it was under the uh, supervision of one of the Mashaikh. And what he has done, or what they have done, it's a co fantastic compilation. It's a, a research of just like if you look up something in Aqidah, a word, or you want to know about a group, or you want to, for example, I looked up istighatha. What does istighatha mean? And how do we, what is, what's the difference between istighatha and isti'ana? This, these kind of books, you know, they are just fantastic pieces of resource and they, they go through that. So it, it just gives you, it's just gold. It's just pure gold. For me, this is gold. This is the only possession in this world really that means uh, anything to me is my book. So I just pray that Allah blesses me to easily ship them to America and to easily have the time and put my energy into that because that's really what I enjoy doing and what I hope to bring more benefit to whoever benefits even if it's one person, because the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, May, uh, That even if one person is guided by you, this is better than the red camels. Better than the red camels. So it shows us the importance of knowledge in da'wah Allah. And so, with that being the case, here's some other goodies. I did get some stuff... Uh, uh, just, just jewels, just more gold, you know, gold all around. So, the na'ma min ni'amillah, and we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, ala nabiyya Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.